Hi, Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Gudila and today we will learn about... Hmm, you can see that there is a family making a campfire. And our topic today is about heat. This is topic for Science Year 5, Unit 6. <gasps> heat. What is heat? Heat is a form of energy that is transferred due to the difference in temperature. Let's see what is temperature. Temperature shows the degree of hotness or coolness of a substance. See, we have a hot water and cold water. Hot substance has high temperature, meanwhile cold substance have low temperature. Thermometer Thermometer is used to measure temperature. The unit for thermometer is degree Celsius. This is the correct way to taking the reading of thermometer. In this diagram, you need to make sure the eye positions is at the same level with the surface of the mercury. First, what you need to do is you need to take the reading at, of temperature only when the mercury stop moving. And you need to make sure the positions of the eyes must be at the same level as the upper surface of the liquid the meniscus level. What is the other unit of measuring temperature? Okay, you can answer this one. Write it in the comment section. The change in temperature. When water is cooled, the water loses heat. The temperature decreases and the lower temperature reading. We can get a lower temperature reading. Meanwhile, when we heat, when water is heated, the water receives heat, the temperature increases, higher temperature reading. Gaining and losing heat. Okay, let's do this activity together. Okay, took a cup of hot and cold water and then touch the cup for a few minutes. Don't take a very hot water, just Take the warm water, hot water, you might get burned. Okay, don't do that. Touch the cup of water for a few minutes and then tell me how do you feel. Uh, if you holding a cold water, you will feel cold. And then, so if you touch your hand to your face, you also feel the coldness of your hand. Okay, why? So first, you need to know that heat is a form of energy. Heat flows from warmer substance to a cooler substance. So hand gets warmer when gaining heat. So when you touch a hot water, when you touch a hot water, and then your hand getting warmer because it's gaining heat. When you holding a cold water, your hand gets cooler. Because your hands are losing, losing heat. Expansion and contraction. A substance expands when heated and contracts when cooled. When a substance expands, its size and volume increase. Meanwhile, when a substance contracts, its size and volume decreases. Here we have a metal ring and a metal ball. Before we heat, the metal ball can pass through the metal ring. In the beginning, the iron ball passed through the metal ring. But, let's see. In this diagram, the metal ball cannot pass through the metal ring. Why? Because, after being heated, the iron ball expanded and cannot pass through the metal ring. It's expanded. The rising water. So this is activity you can do it at home where you can take a basin of ice or basin 
of hot water and then you can have a conical flask with a glass tube and colored water what happen if we take the ice water and then put our conical flask with the colored water into the ice so what happen the water level will reduce if we take a conical flask with glass tube and colored water and put it into hot water what actually happen the water level will rises increase okay next self expand balloon this is also that you can do activity that you can do at home where you can take the same basin of ice or basin of hot water and then you put a balloon at the mouth of a conical flask or maybe just a bottle and then you put it in a cold water or ice water what you can see that balloon will contract but if you put hot water this one into the hot water what will happen Ah, so actually what happened is the balloon will expand because the air inside the conical flask expand when receive heat <laughs> what happened okay so now predict what happened okay we have half filled warm water and then we put it into the freezer put into freezer for 15 minutes and then guess what happened okay you can try this at home just a simple experiment try and then let's see what happened next the applications of the principle of expansion and contraction of substance in daily life so the railway track have gaps at each of the connections this is to avoid the railway track from bending due to the expansion during hot day so this is the situation there's no gap between the connections so this might happen we don't want this to happen next the applications of the principle of expansion and contraction in of substance in daily life okay so this one is electric cables are hung loosely between the poles to avoid the cables from snapping when they contract at night which is at low temperature so like this because an object can contract when loses heat mm. So we don't want this to happen. Uh, the might snapping. The cable might snapping. Hmm, this boy, this boy is having a fever. So the applications here is that boy have a thermometer in, her, in his mouth. Why? Thermometer. We have mercury inside it. It will expand when it receives heat and contract when it releases heat. This causes the level of the mercury to rise and fall. So you can read the temperature of someone by using thermometer. I think that's it for our lessons today. You can scan this QR code for extra notes and exercise. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.